we are asking for uh, our product is about the software matrix in ISR 555. So uh, our team has uh, Wen Jia, Qi Jia, and also me, Xu Xu. So about our product, we will measure the software matrix in ISR 555 product. So this product is a semester long product which will read and parse the BED file and visualize the family tree data. Uh, so it's a semester long product, so it has um, four strings, which uh, each string will uh, each string will be two user stories from each team member and a total of eight stories for each string. So we will use the DQM model. We can define our goal questions and methods. For, for our measurements, we choose three different uh, metrics, the line of code and the complexity and also the MI. So uh, for the background of this project, this is a semester long project which will require four, uh, four students in a team to do this project. So each team will finish a total of 32 user stories and they can choose any approaches and any language they want to use to finish the user stories. So uh, because all of the user stories are seen, so uh, for each teams, for every teams uh, use same language, languages, there shouldn't be any uh, big difference between the metrics. Uh, for uh, we can so we can use the software metrics to tell which team are on the right track. To ensure accuracy, we will use automated tools to uh, measure the software metrics. Also, the data points, uh, we already gained data from five products. Two of them are Java products, and the three of them are Python products. The metrics is uh, LOC, BT, and MI, and also the increase rate of metrics between different streams. Uh, okay, uh, I will introduce the results of our project. Um, these are all the projects we use for this project and we can uh, these two will be java program and this three will be python program uh, the left the, the left vertical line is the total line of code and the, the right the right one is uh, the expansion rate for the project uh, as we can see the the uh, expansion rate of these five projects are very similar but they will differ in uh, numbers. Um, for psychomatic complex complexity, uh, the, these five projects full all have uh, the same trend, uh, which is uh, incremental, but um, they have similar uh, inc increase increase rate between sprints. And for MI, uh, they have they have the same trend too, but uh, the but Java project will have a lower MI than pro Python projects. Uh, next, uh, my team member Chijan will introduce the result. We learn from the result. Okay, uh, <coughs> I will introduce the conclusion that we get from the data. So first we can see that the Java tends to have more LOC than Python in the same project and the MI of the project seems higher in Python than that in Java programs. This is because that Java is a strong type language and it needs to write some functions like getter and setter in the classes. Second, the MI in all the projects has the same trend. As the project went on, the MI becomes smaller. This is because when the post getting getting more and more, it is the maintenance uh, difficulty while getting harder and harder. Next, the LLC within the same project has more differences in the same language. I think this this is because is because that diff different member different team members use different ways to implement the program. Also, the CC has the same reason. The CC differences between projects. This is also based on how team members choose to implement the program. 
then the increase increase rate is similar between sprints because they have the same trend. Also, since our program project is a research research of a course, so it can be used as a benchmark for our instructors and students for their future project estimation and uh, for more detailed information, we are writing our report paper. So that's all. Thank you.